uh, let me just briefly uh, uh, correct the impression by Sun. You know, I said, wh why the two tiers of government are functioning well? That's federal and state. And I started mentioning why the federal government, where it is guilty. And I started also, I mentioned all, and I mentioned where the state too is guilty. I say, even if the states are guilty, there are certain states that they allow partial autonomy, financial autonomy, and such states recorded improvement. That was what I meant. It was not that I was citing any state in the Federation. Let him uh, take this as a correction. And for the way forward, one, let local, let there be uniformity in the conduct of local government elections across the country, whereby one independent body should conduct the election. And there should be uniformity in tenure, just like what the uh, president and the governors are enjoying. Let it be four years. Then moving forward, let there be uh, removal of joint accounts so that funds can go directly to local government councils in the country. And let the 10%, as clearly stated in terms of IGR of this, be shared the local government councils. And then let those functions that ordinarily local government councils are constitutionally allowed to perform, let there be restoration of such functions like uh, primary education, health, agri security, and other basic responsibilities that allow that allow local government councils to undertake developmental projects of direct bearing on people at the ground, which I mentioned earlier on, that we were all beneficiaries of local government councils being functional because we went through free primary education, most of us, where, where we were given free books, free uniforms, and even breakfast. All of these were being undertaken by local government councils then, when they used to have full uh, autonomy. So let there be uh, restoration of full financial and uh, administrative autonomy. But with one thing, the state governments should have responsibility to oversee certain things just like the way federal government is overseeing certain things, to ensure transparency, to ensure that rules are followed strictly, and to ensure that the local government council chairmen don't run foul of the existing laws, that would be guidance, legal guidance, as well as uh, the uh, expert guidance by people from the uh, state and government to the local government councils. So let this be, uh, and this guidance should be positive guidance. Guidance that will bring SOPO to people at the grassroots. Let there, let there be more funds at the disposal of local government councils so that they can tackle so many of these challenges, all these crimes, all this uh, food security, and what I mean, the local government councils are properly funded by adjusting upwards the sharing formula for local government councils from FAC, that is from the Federation uh, Account Appropriation Committee. If that is done, and then let the local government council chairman, let us be sincere to ourselves. Let us, uh, uh, let us have that conscious zeal and passion for love of our people at the grassroots to develop them and to know that even if we not be uh, questioned here, hereafter, we are going to be accountable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Let us have this at the back of our minds. And then when we do this, and let uh, each and every operator, let each and every stakeholder starting with the responsibility of seeing that local government councils function like they used to be up and doing. Once we restore some of this, then there will be sanity in local government councils across the country. 